Anthony Bear in his corner. Ladies and gentlemen, your next heavyweight amateur bout of the evening, fighting out of the blue corner. He fights out of Heath, Ohio. James the Mountain God. And fighting out of the red corner, he fights out of Princeton, West Virginia. All right, both fighters introduced. Let's see how this first round goes. James Dodd coming out left handed stance. Seems very calm, doesn't he? Good left hand, followed by another one. These guys are, look like they're both going to mix it up and wrestle around a little bit. I think referee wants to see that. I don't know about Tyler going back with his head. Dog might be a little heavy handed. Nice right here by Rubel. Dodd looks like I think he does some MMA. Hey. That's about his feet. Is that an advantage or disadvantage, you think, in the boxing ring? Uh, most of the time, disadvantage. Where your opponent is. I feel like Red's kind of. If he don't put his chin down, he might yeah. get caught with something. He's got a, like a European style, and I don't think he, I don't know. This might not be the guy to do it against. Yeah, because his hands are down, his chin's up. And sometimes not having a good base, you know, you can get pushed around. There you go, Tyler. Take your shots. Good job. Tyler letting his hands go a little bit. Oh, it seems like he's the stronger fighter. Uh, the Tyler don't look bad when he. Always gets interesting when the conditioning conditioning comes into play. So look at Rubble. You said something about him being tired. Oh, yeah. He said, hey, I did don't he talk hear me? So. Did he hear me? Somebody texted him in the corner. <laughs> he said, BS. I think Dodd liked it. I didn't think I was that loud. <laughs> jab, Tyler, yeah, jab. If he, now if he can keep jabbing. Yeah. Jory going to have James have Dodd done. still coming hands forward on you. He should have done that 30 second burst closer to the end of the round. <laughs> True. Well, they wanted to make sure he got it in. Because now he's exhausted. Lambert's went to Rubel to throw the jab. Not much behind it right now. Oh. He should circle to his right sometimes and not just always to the left. Change the direction on Blues to make it a little bit harder to get in. Yeah, he might be trying to stay away from that left. So. But I know what you mean. So you can take it away. I also feel like Red should try to keep his hands up more. Blue's punches are really wild. Yeah. Wild. Let's go, Jack. Jab, jab, jab. Hands up. Hey. That right hand was there. I think it was a glancing. I was doing pretty decent by getting in and getting out. Third and final round. Dodd coming out, jabbing. Rubel moving. 
great left hook by Dodd. Tyler, Tyler let his right hand go. He missed and Dodd countered with a clean left. You know, I really like how the heavyweights are starting to really let their hands go now. It's a very fast pace. Yeah. Get, make it easier to come in as well. All right, both of them better show something. Both of them seem tired. Now we're trying to big punch. Dodge just able to knock him off balance being so strong. Body shot bothering? I think so. Seemed like he yeah, went he's right, hurt. Dodd went right back down there to the body. Yeah. I think Dodd noticed Look at his well. legs, he's hurt. He's, he's showing that bad now, isn't he? I think uh, he's definitely more fatigued. He, it, it was on the right side of Tyler's body. His punch that hurt him. Ooh. Ribble threw a nice little up, right uppercut that landed on Dodd. Let's go. Keep it going, oh. Keep going. Oh, those guys, huh? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, once this. again, we go to the judges' scorecard. Blue corner. Judge one scores the fight 28 to 29. Judge two scores the fight 28 to 29. Judge three scores the fight 29 to 28. For your winner by split decision, fighting. Out of the blue corner, James!